Hello, Susie Stitcher here. So it is Monday the 12th of August. I don't think then it's morning. It's so hot, honestly. Um, the curtains are closed, fans are on, but it's horrible. It's really horrible. I hate it. Um, it's supposed to be a bit cooler tomorrow. I think 27, 28. It's about, but they said it's 34 now. But boy, it's too much. Um, so yeah, I just might cool down, especially for the babes. It's not fair on them. It really isn't. But anyway, so the video that I put up um, yesterday, I can't believe how long it was. So I'm going to try and keep it shorter um, because I think some people will get bored of the length of them. Um, they're long. Um, so, yeah, I mean, obviously, you can always skip through some things. You think, oh, I don't want to watch that bit and then skip through. But um, I'm going to try and get a little, not as long as what yesterday's were. So, um, I hope, yeah, the light looks all right. So the curtains are closed. But first of all, I'm going to show you, um, do you remember I'd started the jewelry on Christmas jumper? Um, so last night in bed, because it was upstairs with something else, which I haven't done for a while, which some of you will remember. So anyway, I did some of the Joel Grun um, and I brought both of them down now and I put them in my gorgeous bag. And I've got to attach um, the fob on there that the lovely Susan gave me. So I'll do that after this. Um, so, it's, I mean, I could get another item in there. I mean, look brilliant so the Joel run get that one it's baking hot honestly there it is now last time on my other one I um, sewed on little pom-poms but I'm thinking this time, it just came to my head, buttons, different colour buttons. I think that looked quite pretty. Um, so yeah, that's the idea. So the yarn is paint box, which I've never knit with before, but it's beautiful. Really soft. And let's have a look. It says colour 132, um, but it's really lovely to knit with. So let's show you. Here's my needle reminders. There we are. It really is knitting lovely. So that's that one. And do you remember the child run? Hold on. The confetti crop. Um I didn't tell you about the jog and who it was by, let me tell you in a minute. This is by Knittitude. And the Joel Gron, Andy Satterland. So the yarn I chose for this week, which I've never knitted a cotton garment before, and this was Geezer by King Cole, and that's four ply. I switched my lot on, but I think it would be too much for you. 
it's gorgeous pink. And I've, I've got quite far with it. And so I just stopped all that. I'm going to have to get some uh, needle mind about for it. There we are. So I'm knit, knitting down. But yeah, don't do that. And there's just a little bit of ribbing on the arms. And that's it. This will be lovely over a dress or under my dungarees, but not in this heat. But yeah, there you go. So that's um, going to be staying down here now, and um, when it's not as hot as like today, I'm going to crack on with it. I'm going to leave that open so I can put some um, needle minders on that one. But. I still love this bag, I really do. Right, um, I'm going to show you my blanket. So I started the edging and when I got onto part of the pattern, I know there's not going to be enough yarn. So what I'm doing, just find where I was, the hook's come out. There I am. So the yarn is split. What was it? Bird Street Yarns. Um, it was an advent that I got last year. Beautiful yarn. And the, the theme was autumn. And after doing this border, I've used all the yarn. All I've got left is that amount which is brilliant um this is what i got left for the border so i've done one row of trebles and i'm doing another row of trebles um i'm halfway round so there will be enough but um just to show you what i've done and i think that's perfect Um, really, I'm really happy with this. Not that I need it on my lap today, but there you go. I think um, when it's completed, I'll hang it on the washing line and take a photo if you see the whole thing then. But all the colours go together, lovely. So, yeah. So, I think... While that's down here, I might do some. Wait till we are 25 to 4. So I'll leave it just for a little bit longer for it to cool down a little bit. And then, um, poor old page, um, do some. Um, and the other thing I've brought down is I'm. Um, like I said, I'm going to make a carrot bunting for the inside of the bunny's house. Um, so I brought down the green and the orange. And I will look on Pinterest for a pattern um, as the template uh, to print off and uh, get that stitched up. So that would be for them. Now I'm sure... I think there's some, where is it? There's some trimming. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. That's going to be the trimming for it. I've um, sewn up one pair of curtains for the house today, and I just had to stop. It's just too hot on my back. And because of it being warm, my TENS machine pads were just slipping down. So I haven't got my TENS on. I'm in agony. Um, yeah. If I could sit in the fridge for a while, I'd be okay. So I keep moaning about the weather. Um, so yeah, that I want to get started. 
and I found this yesterday and just forgot to mention it so I used to stitch a lot of um, Mandy Shaw Dandelion Designs um, heart shaped pillows um, as you've seen I've done a quilt yeah I've done I done one quilt two quilts yeah this is one of them and another one which is red work which I've got upstairs um, but anyway let's just show you the only thing is because the design is printed on here but with the um, it's like the sun's got on it a bit and faded it a bit but I can still see it is that the right yeah it's the right design so you sew it on we go I just love everything about that it's got the chickies in there it's got the cat the greenhouse it's just lovely so this has been years as I've got back to this um, so I'll show you how far I did And you can see um, you put um, interfacing on the back so I can see it but so I'm gonna pick it up again um, I just found it randomly looking for something else and I found this like you do um, so yeah I haven't done red what I said for ages and ages so yeah, um, I'm going to go back onto that. Um, another thing I thought about yesterday, I need to complete my other two mice, the Dick Dickensian mice. Um, so I'm going to wait till the, we're back onto normal temperatures and start one of them. Because that was my plan for to start in August. Because I want them completed for Christmas. Um, another thing I want to do, just gonna have a little drink. What do I cope? Um, yeah, I was just looking at the bits that I've got. I've got some on the trolley over there got a basket over here some stuff on my sewing table and I thought all of this doesn't need to be down here it's ridiculous <coughs> sorry so I'm gonna go through and um, what I'm definitely not using at the moment can go upstairs and then I just bring it down if I want to because yeah i need to it needs to be sorted so might be i'm not sure about the job tomorrow but i might do that on wednesday because it'd be a lot cooler then um so yeah just to clear the decks a bit and just have what i really need down here at the moment it's amazing isn't it even though i've got a craft room it's ridiculous um and you can only do so much <laughs> got to really really be serious about all this um so yeah that's the challenge um and i did tidy up this trolley and again it's getting in a mess again honestly it's ridiculous so yeah that's another little job that needs doing as well um but i'll feel better once it's tidy and I'll feel good about it. Um, but yeah. So anyway. So that's it for today. 
Um, I hope you all, you know, that have got this hot weather are keeping cool. Um, it's clouding over, then it comes back out. Um, but yeah. So sorry I've rambled on about a bit the we about the weather. <laughs> Honestly. Um, so you might see me tomorrow, we'll see. But for now, thank you for watching. Good morning. Well, actually it's good afternoon. Yes. Um so we're on Tuesday the 13th of August. It's so much cooler. Oh, it's bliss, absolute bliss. And it's lovely for the fur babies. Um, yeah, it's just, that was just too much, but oh, it's so lovely today. Um, in about 10 minutes, Simon's gonna come and pick me up. I have a hospital appointment. I really can't be bothered to be quite honest. Do you know what, you know, anyone else that has to go regular visits to the hospital it you just think oh i'd rather just stay at home i really would but anyway um also i've had a phone call this morning um from the lung clinic and the consultant is calling me tomorrow morning um so hopefully they can get this infection sorted um and this pain in my back um yeah yesterday was a nightmare because of the heat i couldn't have my tens machine on because of the pads kept slipping off um but it's back on today um it's helping me thank goodness um i'm just doing a little bit of um quilting on my fall on the farm Will. <laughs> I got this oh it's, I've had it ages and ages and I thought I got the right size but I didn't so I've got a little bit of wadding in there um, I'm going to have to get a new one um, so yeah I'll have to get a different size um, it's doing the job um, Let me see where I am. I'm going to lose the needle. I'm always bothered with anything with stitching because of the needles because of the pets. I really get bothered if I lose any. So let's put that there for a minute. I'm still on the first square. But it's okay. A little bit at a time. I'm enjoying it and that's the main. That's the back. Um, I finished the nature's walk um, yesterday, so really happy about that. Um, the ends have got to be sorted and then um, it can be of a nice wash. Um, and I'll get that on the line and I will show you when that's done. But I'm so happy and to have used all that yarn. It's a really, really good feeling. Um, so yeah, that's done. Um, the woodland walk that I had here has now gone upstairs. And um, I did a bit last night in bed. Um, only a small amount because it obviously it was still warm, but I, I managed to get most of a row done because there's a lot of colour changes what I'm on at the moment um, so yeah so at least that's up there now and I can get um, some more done on it um, my carpet I call my carpet bag I should call it my Mary Poppins bag um, got that on there now Susan um, I did the confetti crop um, a bit yesterday um which i'll show you a bit later because the time because i've got to get sorted now for my appointment um what else did i do oh i did a little i did some cross stitch um so i show you what i'm 
doing um but yeah i've got to get ready now so i will see you a bit later hello again so like i said i had the hospital um so that's done um got my meds from the hospital that i needed so tick um i've got my call tomorrow from the lung consultant in the morning and abby says she's going to be here she's asked work and they said yes and she just wants to see what he actually says <clears throat> so that's lovely um so yeah yesterday i had this cross stitch down here um because i came across it all oh, the other week um and i haven't done it for must be over a year so let me show you so this was off etsy um and this is a couple of years old and they just printed the word that you wanted on there which i love and it holds a bit so i've got in here so i've got Oh, oh. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's got the red word I showed you yesterday in there. Um, I'll just show you this. Oh, this lovely little toaster. Got a unicorn on there. Oh, wrong one. I'll show you that in a minute. So I have got the set of these, <clears throat> so which is summer, autumn and winter. This is the autumn one, so it's by Blackbird Designs. And, um, this is obviously the one I'm working on right now. And I thought, how good timing for when we're actually going into autumn, but I'm just doing some now. And the other design, which I really want to do, um, I love that um, and I'd love to put that on a box, <clears throat> find a, little, a small box um, to put that on for a sewing box. I think that's just so cute. So yeah, I really want to do that. So I'll show you. Let's take the design off. Um, the thread to DMC. Another needle. So I'll show you the summer one. They're such pretty designs, they really are. So there it is. And then you can see, um, last night I did the L and the M and I'm just working on this piece here now. But there's a story to this. So when I did the summer one, obviously I'd put it away because I just wanted a break from it. And um, then it came to a time I wanted to go back on it and start the autumn. Do you think I could find that? I could not find it. So I went back and looked at places again, over again, no. So I thought, I'm going to have to start it all over again. So I started it. I got another piece of the, the linen. And then, then I just thought about another place that I hadn't looked. And yeah, there, lo and behold, it was there, which is, is such a relief. So I pulled out the bit that I did on the new linen. So that's there for if I wanted for something else. So I'm so happy that I did find it in the end. Um, 
and yeah so I did some of the autumn but yeah I just want to do some of it now I don't know how long I'll do it for um, but I might just do get the autumn one done and then start with but we'll see you know what I'm like I like I go from one thing to another on the cross stitch which is okay at the end of the day they're mine and you know I can pick and choose which one I want to do um, and they're still getting done but yeah I'm I'm enjoying it really enjoying it and because it's um oh, I'm not sure what count it is it's quite an open count because um you can see the holes really well but um let's have a look what it is on the bottom okay, still pick that one out um, Thirty count. <gasps> I just thought something because I found a design on one, two, three stitch. It's a Halloween one, and I was looking for the the size that I needed, and they didn't have a bigger size of the thirty count. Looked on peak side two, no same. So I'm going to measure that piece. That I've got and it might fit that if it don't it still be ideal for that one oh it's lovely working on 30 count after I'm working on a smaller one so yeah that's that let's leave that there and the other one I've gone back to this is good really gorgeous is Feast of Friendship Blackbird Designs and I've completed all of that and I'm working on the house now and that's why I'd left it um, because of the house was a bit tedious um, so I'm doing a bit more Let me show you Put that up there and I need it again. Whoop. And so you can see all of that what I did. And um day before yesterday I put the shutters on there. So there's more glue to do. But um beautiful design so yeah and this hoop I got from a charity shop in one of the towns um, not far from me uh, me and Beth are doing charity shopping and um, I saw this hoop in one of them and uh i think it was a pound but i love this i just it's just so nice and it holds it really well so yeah nice hoop so yeah this is holding three things which is really good um the threads for those a couple of dmc simply shaker And sample of threads. There's the fob that I put on there. And there's a little bird. There we go. Beautiful colours. So yeah, probably going to do some more of the um, autumn this evening. Let's put that on there.
So about this. As I say, I said to you earlier, I'm really wary about <clears throat> the needles because of the pets. So I just like to make sure that they're all there. I mean, it doesn't zip up, but that's fine. That's just great. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, this, um, whoop. <laughs> um, yesterday evening I was stitching this and, um, listening to the Noel Coward um, radio play of this happy breed. Um, if you've seen the film, it's a gorgeous film. Um, and the radio play has Rosemary Leach, um, oh, John Moffat, I can't remember the other names, but they were the main um, characters, the mum and the dad. Um, so yeah, and that's on YouTube. Highly recommend if you just type in Noel Coward's radio plays, loads will come up. Um, but yeah, it was lovely listening to that and just stitching. knitting socks oh my word I just didn't like the look of them again even though it's a basic sock um but I did sort out I was going through my patterns yesterday and I did sort out um oh, I've got to show you I, did, I haven't shown you this one um stitched by Mrs D of course Paula no yeah Paula um <laughs> she was selling these oh a few months ago it came up on her instagram and um i was lucky enough to get a sock bag but look how cute is she and the back and the inside it's the same as the band um but it's so cute so I've put things in there so, shortcake socks by Goose Creek, Goose Creek Knits, and I like the Pico at the top. I think I need to go through my socks, but I have knitted this, I'll have to have a little check. Um, but I love it. But whether or not I knit with this yarn, it's not, it can't be the yarn's fault. Um, I think it's just me. But I don't know. I don't know whether to just start with this again and give it one more chance. Another thing, I'm, I'm going to use um, the double pointed needles. Um, and see if it's that. But, yeah, it's really bizarre. But anyway, that's the one at the moment. So, and another thing, um, if to do with the me message it, um, <coughs> sending you a message back on YouTube. I might be a little bit late replying, but I do eventually. So, you know, if you've seen that some that have been replied, it's because some have gone through and I've um, replied to them. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I'm being rude. They will be replied to. But um, Julie, hi Julie, um, said about Cascade Yarns have the colour. Um, that I want, you know, that pink, 
um, to knit with. So I'm going to have a little look after this and um, have a look. So do I hold out? We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Um, but yeah, anyway. So, so yeah, I love this. She has made some, not B, she's made some more um, patchwork bags. And she said the fabric, um, she's got some more vintage fabric, but she wants to say some of it for the advent bags. So excited, so excited. So that's that. And so, um, so the sewing machine table is tidy. Um, so my basket's gone upstairs so I've now got my Mary Poppins bag there and um, yeah next is I've got a basket here to sort um, my trolley is tidy now so it's that basket and that corner bit there so um, just doing a little bit day by day because my back that so um i can't stand too long so yeah it's getting there and i'm really happy that when i walk in the living room that's tidy on the sewing machine table um i'll see if abby notices when she walks in tonight i bet she don't so we'll see so that's it for today so hopefully i'll have a little um vlog for you again tomorrow and make it for and even um, not so hotter again, so it's dropping. Yes, I mean it's been so much better today. I mean it's starting to um, cloud over a little bit now. So um, yeah, the garden does need that rain. It really does. So it'd be lovely, really lovely, and for the babies. So bye. Hello and welcome, Susie Stitcher here. So, we are Friday the 16th of August and today is little Evie Bear's birthday. It's her fourth birthday. So, um, obviously she doesn't watch these, but bless her heart. Um, she was so excited yesterday. Um, so, Abby's picking me up a little later this afternoon um, to go over there so I can give her a present, just spend some time there. Um, Simon's mum and dad will be there too. Hi, Sonia. Um, and then she's having a party tomorrow. Um, but yeah, four doesn't seem possible. It really doesn't seem possible. Um, and I'm hoping she likes her little doll Millie that I got her um, and the PJs so um, I'll let you know about that one so yeah um, I haven't done any vlogging the last few days um, as you know I had the pain in the top of um, on the side of my back and now I've got pain in my lower back as well and I've been in agony um, also now my energy levels are really bad um, so that's why um, yeah you've got a few days missing but you know it's, each day is different for me um, <clears throat> so anyway um, I've received a lovely gift a really beautiful gift well gifts um, so let me show you that first so I'm getting oh. okay. <clears throat> so I re received a beautiful card, um, but I'm not sh showing you it because it's got her full name on there. But it's from the lovely Angela in Australia. Hi, Angela um totally didn't expect it such a lovely surprise so 
Angela was saying about this um, pattern a while ago and she asked if I'd like it and I said yes please um, she's just so cute um, she's from Insta magazine now is there a front cover bear with me can't find the front cover but um it's women's weekly look at her <laughs> isn't she cute and um i because i've emailed um, angela and i said i'm gonna have a good read through this magazine as well it's got some lovely recipes in here coconut ice Potty cream fudge but um yeah anyway oh it's just lovely but also look at this trim isn't that gorgeous i'm thinking that could go on the base of you know what one of my dolls dress or it could go on the base of that um ballerina on her netting, um, on the trim of a, a coat, um, but I just love it. It's beautiful. It's so soft. Um, and I love this lace. Look at this lace. That is just so pretty. And there's, I'd say, maybe a metre? just less than that anyway really good um this one that's a nice amount there angela said if i you know if i don't want it then you know whatever i want then take it to a charity shop but i think angela i'm going to be using these but you know obviously if i didn't then i would pass it on to someone else that would but so far angela i don't want to give it away it's gorgeous look at this beautiful and look at this whoops stop there how pretty is that love this as well look at that so lovely of you Angela and it was a lovely surprise really lovely um, so thank you very much for thinking of me and um, like I mess you know messaged you in the email I hope that you know your risk gets better my love you've you know it's been a long haul with you with that isn't it um, so you can get your knitting done so thank you my darling so really lovely so let's put that there for a minute i can put the card up now so just have a drink of my tea Um, also, um, I had the call from the lung consultant on Tuesday, and like I said, Abby was here um, to take notes, and if there was any questions she wanted to ask, and um, he said it was a chronic lung inflammation, whereas hematology said infection. He said it's an inflammation, chronic inflammation, um, and he's putting me on antibiotics. Um, they're putting the prescription through the post, so I'm waiting. I'm hoping it's going to come today. Um, while I'm on that, I can't take my statins. 
um, I have to go back to see him face to face in three months and also have an x-ray and then in six months I'm having another CT scan because he wants to keep an eye on it that it's not growing um, so Abby said you know it's really good they're still keeping a check on it um, so that's that and um, then I had a call yesterday day before anyway from the hospital and they've um booked me in for my bone marrow biopsy and that is on the 27th of august abby's coming with me um but like i said i am really not looking forward to it um, anyone else out there that's had it, they know how it is so painful, really painful, but it's got to be done, so I'm just going to get it done, and um, the nurse did say that she sort of slotted me in, so I haven't got to wait very long, and I can just get in there, get it done, and then go. Um, so I'm not hanging around um, a long time. So that that is that. But at least Abby can come with me. Um, so yeah, that's that. So all the fur babies are fine. Looking for one of his, I think. He's probably outside in the garden. Um, and yeah, the bunnies are doing fine. Oh my word, they have got... Even um, Aggie now, she's coming a little bit of characters coming out there now. And um, they're just so fun. They are really, really funny. Um, even if I say the word, they're out in the garden at the moment. Um, if I say, um, when I'm saying it to the fur babies or the cats, they're up there in the corner of the cage and they're like, come on then, give us a treat. So they have their treat. Um, this morning, because in the mornings I do their salad, they have salad for their brekkie. Plus obviously their normal food. And they have a bowl each and I put one of the bowls down on the top of the cage to open up and Agatha decided she just grabbed it pulled it down and started eating out of it it's just so funny they really really are um and I love them I love them to bits but yeah it's just lovely but um I'll do a little video um of them later so you can you can see them so anyway let's get on to some crafting um i've done some of the socks and since i've been back on the double point needles it's working out fine i mean i've used a circular needle before and i've had no i don't get it I don't know, but anyway it's working out fine i have knitted these before because all the patterns marked so yeah but there they are and the needles are 2.5 and these are my knit pros it's it's I say this with this yarn, it's knitting up lovely, but it is knitting up lovely. There we go. Um, I do go back to that to, to do the pico on the top. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. If you haven't used Knit Pros before, I highly recommend them. Um, I've got a set of these in my circular needles. Um, wouldn't be without them, but the double pointed 
are lovely too. I'd love to have a set of these. Uh, well, you know, different sizes. They're really nice to work with. So yeah, highly recommend these. So, and the yarn, I said, I can't remember. It was just in my stash. The label weren't there. Um, it's a high twist, four ply. That's so pretty. That's that. And the bag was stitched by Mrs. D. Paula. What's that one? Um, another thing I've started. Oh. Um, I had an email come through a couple of weeks ago and you know the Imagine Landscapes, landscapes Gnomes? Um, I did a, a knit along one, I think it was Christmas before last um, and it was worked through December and you had a pattern bit each day. Anyway, this one come, email come through, this is a bag that I made all a while ago. I think it was last year. Um, where's the pattern? I might have to um, go on my, let me have a go on my phone for the info. So it's the Mystery Grimblewood Knit Along. There it is. So if you type that in, um, and on there, um, I'm not sure, I think you've got to sign up. Um, and then it will, you can, uh, well, print these out or file them, which I filed them. Um, and it's got the abbreviations on there. And then you've got your clue one, which I'm working on right now. Um, and I've got clue two. I'm not sure when the next one's due out. But so, um, I looked in my stash you can buy the sets, I think, but um, I've got so many different ones upstairs. So I found this one. I remember getting this. It was Halloween 23. It was a four, four ply um, sock base. Yeah, that was it. Colorway Halloween 23. And it's Ammo Yarn. And these were this was a set um, this is the one I've started off with um, so I thought you know what I'm gonna just I'd love to see what happens with this gnome how this is going to turn out and with obviously autumn and then your Halloween it'd be perfect timing so I'm working in the rounds now. I think it's up to 50 rows. Um, so yeah, if you like doing gnomes, do go and take a look. Let me just see if I can find who it was, make, if it was Imagine Landscapes. Um, Sorry about this. I know I've had an email come through about their Christmas one. 
which I'm tempted to do, but use my own um, sets. Can't find it on here. But yeah, type in what I've shown you and it will come up. So yeah, and I really, because it's small, I'm really enjoying it. Um, the one I did put away, because obviously I did it at Christmas time, but um, thinking about the colour, I could get him out actually for autumn because he's the, the oranges, um, deep orangey colour, rusty colour. So um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to suss him out. Um, Bag. Now, no, that's the Joel Grun. I haven't done any of the Joel Grun, but I have done some of the confetti crop. There it is. really pretty so I'm knitting down now to the length I want it and I need it that it just be able to tuck in to my dungarees I don't want it long long um, and for wearing over my dresses so there we go And the yarn is King Cold Geezer. It's cotton. Um, and it's the colour is 2192 pink. And I've never knit a garment with cotton before, and it's worked out really well. Um, I'm really pleased. Um, because it's the first time knitting with cotton that is turning out okay so yeah but I won't show you the Joel Grun because I haven't done any more um, as you can see um, I'm not sure if I told you probably on a couple of days ago the Woodlands blanket is now upstairs that's my bedtime um crochet and i'm coming on with it lovely now because let's say it's getting a bit done every day so yeah i'm really happy with the progress um i'm not sure if i'm doing any video in tomorrow i might do a little bit and i can show you that for you um so yeah i've the sewing machine table is nice and clear um, this area I've got a basket here now and it's all the things oh Wally have you been in the garden have you been, have you been so far we come here come on here he is oh <laughs> yeah you've been so amazing oh you need to stay in now just had a drink yeah he does like lying out there don't you you've got to be careful i know that's hot for it's not hot, hot but yeah he's game with the fan on <laughs> he's cheeky he's so cheeky say hello Mwah. say hello <laughs> my little baby um yeah so in the basket i have the angels of madness apron for flory um it's things that i might want to pick up so yeah that's all there and tidy over on my little trolley over there now is at the top all my spinning bits and the spinning wheel 
Um, and I've got obviously Flo on the trolley because that's where she used to love laying. Um, so yeah, and it's I've been doing a bit each day and it's all been put away upstairs. Nothing's been left out to say, oh, so like, it's all been, so that's sorted. And it's such a nice feeling to see it looking tidy. So, um, and obviously again on my trolley here, it's tidy again. So let's show you the cross stitch. Tiggy! Curdy meowing. So, places to autumn. So I'm doing this one here. The threads are classic colour works. And I've the showing board that Mandy made for me. I've got down here now, so it's easier than stretching. Whoops. Let me just swipe the magnet. There we go. There it is. So last night I did the green bit here and I did her belt and I've done a bit more black on her dress but yeah really nice nice little design oh I got nearly I got stuck in my finger doing that Rose there's that one Loose Feathers Autumn by Blackbird Designs. Um, the threads of DMCs. This going out the needles. So there we go. So I'm working down here now. I've done a bit more down there, and I'm working down here. Um, I've completed this over here. But yeah, beautiful. Beautiful one um, pattern or design.
Well, he's got me looking out the window. He's looking out the window. So that's that um, and I want to show you this beautiful book now let's see actually no I kept the receipt in the book show, for showing so now I'm trying to think where I saw it I think it was Facebook. It came up on Facebook. Now, I had a Google around to find it. And I got it from the Connecting Threads. Um, and that was in America. Columbus, United, Columbus Ohio, United States. Um, And it's called Summer Memories. And uh, oh, yeah, with Susan Ake. Oh, my beautiful designs absolutely stunning um rachel and mandy um probably you as well divina there's not any quilts in here there's cross stitch look at that I mean you obviously you know you don't have to do these colors you can do what colors you like but beautiful but be careful because some of it's just on the, the patterns but you've got the flag day tumbler. You don't have to, I mean, you know, do the flag bit colour scheme there. You could just do the tumblers in the strips. Look at that. I really like that. Really pretty. Wow wows! this lazy afternoon quilt I love that really pretty <clears throat> summer picnic quilt I do love these colours. They've got all the instructions in here. The brand of quilt. And then you've got Let's Talk Cross Stitch. So you've got Cherry Season. Oops. 
just nice little stitches. Free and brave. Freedom flowers. Proud and true. Love this sail away. From sea to shining sea. I love the colours as well. So, and this one, this land is your land and this land is my land. Beautiful book. Um, yeah, I just love it and I'm, it's just beautiful. So yeah, there you go if you're interested. What are you up to? I heard you. I had to call you three times or more. Yeah, I know you heard me. Be cool. It's not for us. Um, so, don't know if there's anything else to talk to you about. Is there was? Have you missed anything? Um, next Tuesday, um, I've got an optician's appointment. I desperately need to, to get these checked out. Um, I'm not getting, I, I know I need a stronger lens. I've got very focused, but I know I need a stronger lens. Um, I'm struggling a little bit. So, um, yeah, I've got that coming up on Tuesday. Um, I don't think, hopefully, yeah, I think that's, that's it. So, um, yeah, I'll do a little video tomorrow. Um, I'll, what I'll do is I'll show you the bunnies tomorrow and I'll um, show you the crochet blanket, how it's coming along. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Hello. So, we are Sunday the 18th of August. I haven't done a lot of video in this week. Um, I really don't feel well. Um, I'm hurting. Um, yesterday, I literally had no energy and I'm feeling not as much today, but I'm still feeling like it. Um, and it's horrible, really horrible. Um, so, I've, I'm sorry, I'm sat here, um, I'm doing the garland, the carrot garland for the bunny's house. Um, the curtains are in there, they've been sorted for me, um, and I'm really pleased with them. So I thought, let's get this garland made for them. Well, not for them but for the decoration of the house um yeah it's just it's 
honestly an effort and um, people that suffer with this will understand it's part of the fibromyalgia um, the pain is my rheumatoid um, my feet are really bad but um, yeah it's just resting so I've decided next week um, there won't be any vlog um, obviously I've got to take care of myself and um, yeah just take it easy so yeah apologies for that um, but anyway so I'll show you what I'm doing with the bunting so there's the carrot and I'm gonna have a, a, a string of these um, so all I'm doing so I cut out like that and then I it looks a bit like a crown and then I gather it up like that um, and that's what you get there I did try strips but it didn't look very nice so but I'm happy with that I think that looks good um, and then when I've done that, it will be attached to the green um, trim that I showed you. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Um, now, where I did thread a needle. There it is. So, I hope you're all okay. Um, As you know, it was Evie's birthday on Friday. She had a party yesterday. Um, and Abby and Simon have gone to Wales Next to Sea today. And I was invited to. And I was really excited because it's been years since I've been there. Last time I went was when the girls were younger. And it's just a beautiful place. Really, really pretty. Um, we were going to take Mabel, um, but on Friday, I my pain wasn't good. Um, <clears throat> obviously, I didn't want to miss out on giving Evie a present on her birthday, and Dabby picked me up and I went over there. <clears throat> um, but I did say to Abby, if I'm like this, obviously I won't be able to go, and yeah, it just wasn't going to happen. Um, but that's the way it goes. Um, but yeah, well, anyone that's been there, you'll agree it's a beautiful place. So I'm sure the girlies are having a lovely time. There we go. Just like that. Um, another thing I'd like to do today is, obviously because I've got a board here on my lap, is um, cut out the next Dickin Dickensian mouse um, and get that started. I was going to do it yesterday, but so the way I'm feeling just didn't happen. But, um, something like this is just nice to have on your lap. So the bunnies are out in their house and um, I didn't do the video of them the other day. Like I said, it's just the way I'm feeling. <clears throat> so I will um put them i'll do a little video before i edit this up so here are the bunnies with bramwell okay around here we've got aggie and there's curtains and look around here
matches. So you can see and you'll see the curtains there um, and apart from the bunting now um, it's the window boxes have got to be put up so um, yeah they're, they love it they love laying in there they really love laying in there temperature's lovely today um, they gave it getting up to 26 but it was very a bit cloudy this morning and it's the sun's just starting to come through now and it's quarter to one um but no temperature's just just nice so i hope it's okay for um abby and that at the seaside Evie had a lovely birthday. <clears throat> she enjoyed her party. And if you go on my Instagram, Susie Stitcher 2, you'll see her picture of her took of her for, on her birthday. And um, I think I said I bought her an inflatable crown and she loved it. Absolutely loved that crown. Um, and she loved Millie, the doll Millie. So, which was, um, I was really happy about. So I've got three made and I've got um, six here, which is plenty. It's them. So, um, I hope you all have a good week. Um, I hope you've had a lovely weekend and got some crafting in. So, um, yeah, as I said, I'm going to have a break. Um, I just need to rest. So, thank you so much for, for watching. I've got a couple of new subscribers. So, thank you for joining me or joining us. Um, so for now, take care. Thank you for watching. Bye.